Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. So the answer to the question at the beginning of that video clip, why do we line our model railroad tunnels? Well, in addition to the three reasons that we're gonna go over in this video, and by the way, stick around for reason number three, that one's gonna be the most important. It's gonna save you some money and some grief. The most unexpected benefit to the tunnel liners was actually evident in that video. I was very pleasantly surprised by how much more amplified all of the locomotive noises were, the horn blasts, everything, as the trains traveled through the tunnels. So further to that, the number one reason why we want to line our model railroad tunnels is for realism. We work so hard on the rest of our layout, making sure our locomotives sound right. Our locomotives are painted and weathered. Uh, our rolling stock is painted and weathered. Uh, our track is painted and ballasted. We do beautiful scenery. We even have realistic operations. And then you look down into the tunnel and you're expecting to see the inside of a miniature mountain with a tunnel running through it. But instead you see the wall or you see the floor or some wires hanging down or some pink foam and white plaster scenery or whatever you have stored underneath your layout you see that you see anything except what you're hoping the inside of a miniature mountain with a tunnel run running through it looks like so the number one reason why we line our model railroad tunnels is realism Okay, reason number two that you wanna line your model railroad tunnels. Ease of scenery construction. When I got to the point on my layout where I was going to start building my tunnels and the mountains that the tunnels went through, I was a little bit stuck. I had seen the tunnel portals in the store, but I wasn't sure about the tunnel itself. Was there actually going to be a tunnel? Was it gonna make that out of cardboard or foam? Or was it just gonna build the mountain right on top of the tracks by stacking the foam blocks or crumpled newspaper with plaster cloth, whatever have you, wait for that to dry and then pull it all out from the bottom, meaning I wasn't gonna be able to run my trains until that was dry, I, I didn't know. So I went down to the hobby shop and came home with what I'm sure a lot of you have, was the Woodland Scenics plaster tunnel portal and this tunnel liner form. Um, now I wanna preface by saying I don't wanna poo poo on anyone's products. I happen to think that the Woodland Scenics scenery products are amazing. I love using them. It just turned out that the plaster tunnel portal and in particular this tunnel liner form were not going to work for me. This says size for HO, modify for N scale easily. I model in N scale and it was not easy. What you're meant to do with this is fill this with plaster and wait for it to dry. You make multiple copies of that and then like you can see in the um, the picture here at the top, you join several copies of this together with plaster cloth and then you're in theory able to lift individual panels up out of your way if you need to clear a derailment or a collision inside the tunnel or clean the track or whatever have you. I don't think that's going to stand up to repeated use. It's going to be heavy. Um, you can see from the photo here that even if that did work, it would only really work for a straight section of track. Uh, can you imagine making multiple copies of this and then cutting or shaving this and shaping it into a curved liner like this? Like that just sounds like a nightmare. So I knew right away this wasn't gonna work for me. So when we talk about this system helping you with your scenery construction, if we imagine that there's another tunnel portal here, this is your entire tunnel, you're building a mountain over this, well you can set this in place on the layout and immediately start building your uh, scenery on top of it, whether it's cut up uh, pink foam blocks uh, and then plaster cloth on top of that or a crumpled newspaper and plaster cloth, sculpt a mold, whatever you're doing, um, you can place that on the layout and you can keep running your trains while you're doing your scenery construction. The only part of this system that's meant to be permanently attached to the layout would be the first tunnel liner section, which is also glued into the back of your tunnel portal and then that assembly is then glued down onto the layout. The rest of the uh, tunnel liner sections are left wild so that you can remove them afterward and we'll talk about that in the next reason why you want to line your model railroad tunnels. So second reason why we want to line our model railroad tunnels is ease of scenery construction. 
Okay, I promised you that I was going to save you some money and some grief with our third reason for lining your model railroad tunnels, and that is to protect your trains. On my layout, my sub roadbed is plywood cookie cutter on top of L girders, meaning that the benchwork is wide open underneath. I have had derailments in the past. Locomotives have hit the floor and it's cost me a lot of money. If I had had a system like this in place, I still would have had the derailment, but the equipment would not have hit the floor. So if you have this system in place, you're gonna know that you had a derailment. You're gonna have a short circuit or the, the train's not gonna come out of the tunnel or the entire train isn't gonna come out of the tunnel. With this system in place, you can just shut the layout down, go up underneath the layout and start pulling out tunnel liner sections like so until you come across your train, pull it out car by car, set it aside, put it back on the track somewhere else, and then reassemble your tunnel liner underneath the layout and you're good to go. So you're still gonna have derailments, you're still gonna have collisions, but your equipment is not going to hit the floor. So reason number three that you want to line your model railroad tunnel is protecting your trains. That's going to be a wrap for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you to the new subscribers. If you haven't already subscribed, please click that button so you're going to get notified of any upcoming videos. I hope you have a great rest of your day.